a new manager for the Cardinals, but it's a familiar face. Find out who the next St. Louis skipper is coming up in sports. This now from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU8 Sports. Good morning, everyone. The Tiger basketball team took on Mercer at Mizzou Arena in the opening game of the CBE Classic last night. The tougher portion of the CBE Classic next Monday as Mizzou will play Notre Dame in the semifinals in Kansas City. Mizzou up to 24th in the new AP poll. Missouri up 7-4 in this game and make it 10-4 as Kim English drills the three ball. He made four or six three-pointers on the night. Later, Michael Dixon with the mid-range jumper puts Mizzou up 17-7. A couple minutes later, Dixon drains the three he provided a spark off the Mizzou bench with 12 first half points. Next Mercer possession, Phil Pressey dives on the floor and a nifty flip to older brother Matt who flushes it down. 22-10 Mizzou, flip with four first half steals. Following Tigers possession, another Dixon three. Missouri made 11 of 22 threes on the night. Mizzou led 40-24 at the half. Second half, the Pressey party. Long three, bam, Tigers up 20. Pressy not done, as here it is, a nice cross-court pass by the big fella Steve Moore, and Pressy cans the wide-open three. He finishes with a career-high 22 points and five steals. A big night and great finish for Pressy as Mizzou moves to 2-0 on the season after beating Mercer, 81-63. At the end of the game, I got to take control of the game and finish the, finish the game like a great point guard should do. But I'm just going to try to work on that and try to limit my mistakes. Great players are consistent with being solid all the time, and regardless of score. And I think that's, that's something we're going to teach our guys. And uh, Phil understands that, and we're going to challenge him to do that because he, I think he can handle it. I guess once I start to score more, it would be open up some of my passing lanes, which would make it be a lot easier for me to create for my other teammates. A big win, but perhaps even a tougher loss on Saturday for the Tigers football team as Mizzou lost the leading rusher in the Big 12 Conference. Henry Josie tore his patella tendon, his ACL, and his MCL on this play against Texas. Josie had a long surgery on Sunday morning. Kendall Lawrence takes back the feature running back spot just over a month after returning from his own leg injury. Lawrence rushed for more than 100 yards against Texas. Josie, a tough loss for the Tigers, but Lawrence is ready to fill those fast shoes. We lost, lost one of the best running backs in the nation. That just happened a couple days ago. So, I mean, he's a Doke Walker finalist and, and a great, great player. So that's, you know, we take a hit there. I saw my guy go down and it looked pretty bad. So, I mean, I was like, care for him. But I had time for my guy to park it and be ready to focus on what's, what's going to help the team now. The Kansas City Chiefs might have to play the rest of the season without quarterback Matt Castle. Chiefs coach Todd Haley says Castle has a significant injury to his throwing hand and will probably need surgery to fix it. It happened late in the Chiefs' loss to Denver. Von Miller hit Castle as he released the ball and he fell hard on his throwing hand. Chiefs backup Tyler Palco is expected to start Monday night against New England. 33 years and more than 5,000 games experienced certainly something Tony La Russa had. St. Louis replaced La Russa with Mike Matheny yesterday. Matheny has managed a grand total of zero games. 41-year-old Mike Matheny signed a two-year contract to take the managing job of the team he played for from 2000 to 2004. As a catcher, he earned four Gold Glove awards. Concussions ended his career in 2006. Matheny joined the organization two years ago as a minor league instructor and a player development assistant. And I know that uh, there's a high level of expectation. There's a high level of, of um, what has been known as the Cardinal way that, uh, that I plan to carry through with. Columbia's Carl Edwards will head into the final race of the season with a three-point lead in the Sprint Cup standings. And it's a two-man race as only Edwards or Tony Stewart have a shot at this year's title. The final race is on in Miami on Sunday. Edwards won two of the past three times on the track and he's excited for the race to the finish line. 
And it's neat to be able to go to Homestead and race it out. You know, I mean, I, I'm sure these guys are going to be good down there. They're fast on the mile and a halves, and I love that place. So, um, you know, just proud of my guys today. They did a great job on pit road. So, Megan, I bet you can guess what I'm going to ask you about today. But, you know, Mike Matheny, what do you think? Did you hear me over here? She's I... over here going, love him, love him, love him. <laughs> I do love him. I mean, I just love that we have a, you know, an, a former Cardinal as the manager. And, yes, he's never managed a game. I don't care. I love him. <laughs> He was She's made a, up her mind. He's such a great clubhouse guy. I just think the team will really respect him. I think the fans are going to be really excited about it. So I'm all in on Mike Matheny. Thanks, Common.